I'm Kevin Haycock for iMagazine, and this is the iMagazine podcast. Today I'd like to share with you an easy way to access your Gmail account using Mac OS X's built-in mail application. Right now, Gmail is only available to those who are invited by current users. So if you don't have a Gmail account, you'll have to find one of your friends who does and ask them for an invite. Unfortunately, we here at iMagazine are out of invitations. Once you have your invite and you've completed the account signup, you'll receive an email like this with a link to the Gmail website. Enter your username and password. This is your Gmail inbox. You could access your Gmail from here quite easily every time you wanted to check your email. However, you can set up your Mac OS X mail application to automatically check your Gmail account. Let me show you how. First, we'll have to set up the Gmail account to allow us to use Pop Mail. This is a kind of email account that can be checked from applications that use the Pop protocol. To do this, go to your Gmail settings. Click on Forwarding and Pop at the top. Here, you'll find a way to forward your Gmail to another email account. For instance, if you had an AOL account and only wanted to access email via AOL, you could type your AOL email address here and have all your Gmail sent there. For our purposes, though, we want to actually use our Gmail account, but access it via Mac OS X's mail application. To do this, we must enable Pop Mail by clicking on this radio button. When we do this, the drop down menu in step 2 is activated. I would recommend choosing to archive your Gmail. This will force Gmail to save a copy on its server even after you've accessed it from the mail application, and even if you've deleted it. With Gmail's 2 gigabytes of storage, you'll have plenty of room. The next step is to configure the Mac OS X mail application. Instructions to do so are here in this link under Apple Mail. You're welcome to follow these instructions, but I think they're for an older version of mail and won't quite match up with what you see on your screen. So you can follow along with me as I walk you through the process. Before moving on, be sure to save the changes you made to your Gmail settings. Open the Preferences panel for Mail. Select Accounts from the icons across the top of the window. Once you're in the Accounts pane, you'll want to create a new account by clicking on this plus sign. Select Pop from the Account Type drop-down menu, and then enter an account description. Let's call this one Gmail. Put your full name as you'd like it to appear in your emails, and then your new Gmail email address. Then select Continue. Next, you'll enter the Gmail server name, pop.gmail.com, then your username, which is actually the whole email address, and then your password, whatever you selected when you signed up for the account. Then click Continue. Next, you'll set up the outgoing mail server. Type in smtp.gmail.com. Again, enter your username remembering it is the whole email address, and then enter your password as before. Click Continue. This takes you to the account summary, and it should look exactly like this, except with your full name and username in place of iMagazine. Click Continue, and then Done to finish creating the account. Once you've done this, your Gmail account will appear in the left-hand window of the Accounts Preferences pane, but there's still some work to be done. With the Account Information option selected, click the Server Settings button at the bottom. Here you'll need to change the server port to 587. The rest of the information should be as you previously entered it. Click OK. After this, you can close the Preferences pane with that, we've created a new account in the inbox called Gmail that has all the current messages from our Gmail account. More importantly, we will be able to receive new emails that get sent to our Gmail account. To have the mail application automatically download email, go to Mail Preferences again, this time under General, and select how often you'd like mail to check for new mail. I like to check it every five minutes. Also, we can now send email from our Gmail address using the Mac OS X mail application without ever signing in to Gmail via a browser. I hope you've been able to follow along and get your own Gmail account set up using the mail application. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at imagazine 
at Mac.com. Or leave a comment on the webpage at www.imagazine.com backslash podcast backslash podcast.html. For iMagazine, I'm Kevin Haycock. Get the Apple Mac news you want at iMagazine.com.